Hi friends, I am Arjun. Welcome back to Aringal Innovation. In this video, I am going to explain how to generate a delay in ARM semiconductor. So, delay is the most important function in all embedded programs. So, here I have written a small delay program for making to understand how to write a delay function in an ARM semiconductor. So, let's see the. Here I am explaining two delay functions basic delay function and advanced delay function. This basic delay function is used for normal LED blink, motor, left, right, rotation. Everything is, is basically delay functions enough. Advanced delay functions, those who are doing advanced programming. Um, one VPB D, D, uh, DIV concept is there. So in this uh, video, I explained both functions. So let's see. For programming purpose, I use KL5 software. In KL5, you can code the ARM controller, ARM7. First of all, open the project. Select the save location. Here, I am giving delay underscore ms, my project file name. Select legacy file. Then LPC two one four eight. This microcontroller only we are going to use. Okay. Create a file. Main dot C. Create another file for header. This all C concept. I'm not going to explain. And under the this is the main file timer.c. Here only we have to code how many delay, how much delay we have to set. Rename it as application. That also rename it as driver. In driver only we are going to write all drivers. Suppose we are if you are doing DUART, any other driver do it in driver and add all whatever we have created files add all in application and driver if it is driver file add in driver driver folder if it is application add in application here timer it's a driver so i am adding in driver in header file if you right click you can see the header file of lpc2148 this is the application file here only we have to provide all calling functions in domain open bracket close bracket delay underscore ms this is the our calling function delay function just i'm giving thousand thousand means one millisecond millisecond while one while one here i am using this is not mandatory here i am using for debugging purpose i want to show the time that's why i am putting here while one every file we have to include header file our own header file This is the function definition. T0 TCR timer control register. Here making as zero. The no use of this stopping the timer so now is that because in default itself the timer control register is zero only for safety purpose i used you t0 pr prescale register in this only we have to assign the value 15000 
means one tick of arm timer is equal to one clock pulse. So 15,000 ticks, 15,000 cycle equal to one millisecond. That's why in pre-scale pre register I'm sorry, storing 15,000. Time zero, timer counter, time zero, pre-scale counter. Timer 0, timer control register 1. Here I am starting the timer. While 1, while, sorry, while T0, Tc less than millisecond. Checking the condition here. That's all. This is not mandatory. If you're not, if you didn't mention this also, if you didn't write this also, it will work. No need. As, as I told before, it says time zero, please care, register. Timer control, sorry, timer counter and timer prescale counter both value is zero then one tick two second tick third tick fourth tick each time timer zero tc will increment one 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 by one by one when it reaches t0 pr then t0 tc will become one So while condition will get false when uh, PC become 15,000 while condition will false, delay function will end. This main purpose of this function making the CPU busy. Sorry, hundred dollars. Mistake. No error, no warnings. Okay, let's debug and see. Insert breakpoint. Here, breakpoint is used for debugging purpose. See, time is running. When exit one second, it will stop. Breakpoint will stop the CPU, stop the process of not CPU. Like this, you can debug the code. So now I'm giving 500 millisecond. Before I given one second, now 500 millisecond. An exact 500 millisecond. 0.5. See. This is the way you have to write delay function. So let's go for advanced delay function. In advanced delay, here we are caring about VPV DIV register. Its default value is zero. If programmer wantedly change the value, then it will affect the timer. For avoiding that uh, effect, we are we are using one register here see pclk is equal to zero if vpb div equal to equal to zero then pclk equal to 15000 else if VPV DIV equal to one PCLK equal to sixty thousand and 
there is a one concept on purpose once you understand that concept you will understand this vp b register vp b div register so big concept if i try to explain this video it will goes long if anybody wants that explanation just comment in comment box i will do that video okay i forgot to write minus 1 because we are starting from zero t0 p c play scale counter we are starting from zero so it will zero to one one clock plus so 30000 minus 1 that's the s that zero to 30000 minus 1 means that's the x set vpb tlv is equal to 4 we mean same 15000 minus 1 Equal to five means sixty thousand minus one. Equal to six means thirty thousand minus one. T zero B C L P C L K equal T zero B R equal to P C L K. P C L K means peripheral clock pulse. Once you understand number bus, you will understand P C L K. So this is all the main program for advanced delay function. Go to peripheral for changing the V V P B D I divider. The P C L K equal to C C L K. C C L K means processor clock. So processor clock and peripheral clock are both are different. So when P C C L K by four. That VPB divider is zero. That if condition will work. Fifteen thousand minus one. That condition will work. So see, five hundred millisecond. So it's under two while one condition will change into hundred millisecond. Change to P C L K equal to C C L K. It means this uh, C C L K is sixty thousand. So paper clock also sixty thousand. Okay, guys. If you have any queries regarding this program, please inform me through WhatsApp number. My WhatsApp number nine triple four eight six eight five four two. Thank you.